and I have 16 graphene companies I'm following in Israel. These are the new carbon technology that uh, is as important as the silicon, where now the entire uh, information economy <coughs> is in transit to a graphene carbon foundation. Graphene uh, overcomes the heat crisis of current electronics. I mean, um, Elon Musk was saying the other day that uh, he can find all the AI uh, data centers from outer space. You can see their heat signatures. And uh, graphene is a thousand times as thermally conductive as silicon. So, it, so graphene, the transition of electronics toward graphene and communications toward graphene uh, can solve the heat crisis that's currently afflicting electronics. The planet doesn't suffer from any heat crisis, but our electronic data centers with their climate change models, they suffer from a real fundamental heat crisis. What would you say to uh, state boards that say, well, uh, we're not going to allow in, uh, any of our uh, pension funds or, or any of our funds won't go into uh, technology funds that uh, 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 support Israeli companies? Well, it's just evil. I mean, this isn't, this is, this is something that is fundamentally evil. You don't look at it and say, oh, they're misled or they're deluded. These are evil people. It, it, if you're so stupid that you can't uh, tell that Israel, a small country surrounded by a enemies. billion uh, enemies. Uh, uh, tyranny. And tyrannies. If you can't, if you can't see the difference between Israel and and Iran, you, you're hopeless. And and the yeah. d definition of that degree of depravity is is really it's it's crypto Nazi. It's it's just uh, it's a deadly um, <coughs> error. How how is it that you understand the situation so well? compared to most people who hear it secondhand. I'm, I'm, uh, I've spent my life in studying uh, economics and technology and philosophy and religion, and I'm a generalist. I'm not some narrow specialist who's blinded to all the real issues in the world. And, uh, and I've always, in, in writing about capitalism, I understand the deadly role of anim, envy in all human affairs. And, uh, and the, the key to the Israel test is how do you respond to people who uh, excel you in ingenuity, achievement, excellence, wealth, do you admire them and emulate them yeah. and try to follow their example? Uh -huh. Or do you envy them and uh -huh. try to tear them down? And, uh -huh. and uh, that's the Israel test. And it's, it's the key uh, issue cleaving the global economy.